Pal Progress. Keep it moving, keep it moving forward. Irving's Police Athletic League is putting the finishing touches on its new home. We are looking at the inspiring future and interesting past of that building. Learning and growing. I think our programs are only going to grow in numbers of students. Three. Yeah. A university expands into a new space. See how this school can prepare students for careers in the medical field. Plus, our special visitor is learning more about what we do here now on City Source. Celebrities will again visit Irving to participate in a special golf event, and you are invited to be there. Hello and welcome to City Source. I'm Thomas Gandy. We will preview the invited celebrity classic a bit later, but we begin with new headquarters for Irving's Police Athletic League. Through the hard work of volunteers and the gifts of donors, the project is nearing completion. We got a look at the progress. Boxing, fitness, and archery. Those programs and more that have long been aspects of the Irving Police Athletic League will soon take place in a new building. And here it is, the former National Guard Armory on North O'Connor. We are excited. This building is about three times larger than the former facility on Rock Island Road. We were busting at the seams. Along with the expansive interior at the new site, there is space out back for batting cages and archery. Over there, the wrestling program is we were only doing during the summer. Here we'll have wrestling year-round, we'll have boxing year-round, we'll have fitness year-round. We're hoping to add either a taekwondo or judo year-round. This is a whole lot better situation for the kids. The building's history goes back to the late 1950s. You can see it in old newspaper clippings and in parts of the building. So this is kind of a neat piece of history right here. Yeah. This is uh, the logo from the 49th Armored Division that was housed here. Beyond its primary military purpose over the years, early on the armory served as a community center. So in this picture, this is David and Daryl Cole, and they're in the ring boxing. In this building? In this building. Our family has always been entrenched in fighting. If you grew up in Irving, then a lot of things happened here at the old armory. So they had more than just sporting events. Soon, young athletes will again be boxing here. Well, we're actually going to have two boxing rings in here. As renovation nears completion. There are also a lot of smaller rooms. What do you see happening in yeah. here? Well, this one is going to be our weight room. This project had long been a dream, and it got a jump start a few years back when the state seized money in a telemarketing scam. That's when Pal made its case to a judge of how the money could make a positive impact. To our surprise, the judge awarded us the entire $202,000 with the stipulation that we raise matching funds from the community in six months, which was pretty daunting, but we were able to do it in about three and a half, four months. Further fundraising brought up the total, but there was still quite a gap to reach the architect's estimates. And they uh, estimated it at about $4 million and uh, we had $700,000 <laughs> in the bank. Pal's next step to generate money was selling the old building on Rock Island. Even with that, they were short. But what they lack in funds, they exceed in resident support. You know, the shortage of funds is made up by the community that has done in-kind donations. What's your message to all those donors, all those volunteers who have worked to make this happen? Oh, we couldn't do it without them. Uh, from the bottom of my heart, uh, I thank them. So you're seeing the before pictures as, as we got into the armory and uh, how the bathrooms looked, how the other major rooms looked. Uh, the bathrooms were pretty much a disaster. A lot of improvements throughout the building, including adding air conditioning that will help the Police Athletic League continue its mission. It's trying to build a relationship between the police officers and the youth. That's, that's the main goal. When you have a team or a group that you belong to, and it leaves the trouble behind. And they all hope the new location will attract more young people from across Irving. PAL leaders are still looking for donations to finish out the facility and provide ongoing programs at this nonprofit organization. Irving's Police Athletic League started in the early 1990s. Its first home was at the old Plymouth Park Shopping Center. City leaders turned out as the University of St. Augustine for Health Sciences celebrated the opening of its permanent new campus. It had opened a temporary campus in 2019, but now has firm roots in Irving and plans to grow even more. 
People pursuing careers in various health fields can benefit. Check it out. We are celebrating the grand opening of our new campus here at the Verispace Las Colinas building. Three. Yeah. For more than 43 years, the university has been a pioneer in innovative health sciences and healthcare education. So we've got programs from physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech language pathology, physician assistant programs soon, to be the leading health science university in the United States. It's always great when the city of Irving has a business that it wants to expand, especially in the healthcare industry. It's something that's just continuing to grow. Not only is it going to be an excellent health science center, but the students that come here are going to add to the economy of Irving. And this here is a real jewel. This really adds to what we have here in the city to build and, and to actually gainfully employ the people that live here. We chose to come here to stay in a community that had embraced our 500 students. It was a community that provided a safe and dynamic environment for our faculty and staff. So thank you for your investment in our city. They're going to be an integral part of Irving, and we're so thankful you're here. The school has five campuses across the country. Residents who have unused household chemicals can participate in a special collection day for these materials. It is on Saturday, February 25th at the Briary Yard. Take note that residents must request a voucher to participate. Call Solid Waste Services at 972-721-2232. Celebrities, pro golfers, and thousands of fans will be at the Las Colinas Country Club April 21st through 23rd for the Invited Celebrity Classic. The fun returns to Irving for a second year. Jim Barra is Invited's Chief Marketing and Innovation Officer, and he joins me now with a preview. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you, Thomas. It's wonderful to be here. We couldn't be more excited about year two. We've got a lot of fun things planned. Yeah, and I enjoyed covering this last year, and it's quite a long list of star athletes already confirmed for this year. We have Emmett Smith, Demarcus Ware, and others. Tell me how this format with celebrities differs from other golf events people might know. It's, it's more relaxed. It's more laid back. You really have a chance to interact more closely with the celebrities and pros. It, it's a more casual environment, and the celebrities love it. It's a chance for them to see their fans, to see each other, quite frankly. Um, they may not have seen each other since their playing day, so it's a chance to get together and swap stories. And uh, it's just a wonderful energy and a wonderful event putting it all together. And uh, Las Colinas Country Club is just the perfect venue for this type of event. Yeah, I saw a lot of people snapping selfies with the stars last year, getting those autographs too. And something new this year, free tickets to the grounds are available. How do people go about scoring those? Yeah, you can go right online. Um, and our partners, Choctaw Casinos and Resorts, as well as Energy Transfer and Invited, are sponsoring each of the three days. So completely complimentary grounds tickets. We encourage everyone to come out. The more, the merrier. And to your point, again, chance for autographs, photos, and to see some of the, the legends of, of baseball, football, basketball, sports and entertainment, really all there, 40 of the top names, along with 78 PJ Tour champions, professionals, all uh, battling it out for about two and a half million dollars of prize money. So it, it should be a really exciting weekend. And some people remember last year, this was called the Club Corp Classic, but your company changed its name to Invited. That led, of course, to the new name for the event. What else is different this year? It's different. I think a the, the complimentary tickets we think will bring even more people and more energy. Um, we're continuing to expand our field, bring in new names, um, and then we'll have some additional programming throughout the weekend to to create more opportunities for fans to engage, um, be out on a beautiful course. Hopefully, the weather cooperates um, and just really enjoy the time together. And it is high profile too, with a national television audience going after this and watching it. What makes Irving a good location for this? Great sports fans for all sports, as you know very well, uh, and a rich tradition in golf. So we couldn't be more proud to bring professional golf back to back to the Irving market. And uh, again, as I mentioned, Las Colinas is just a wonderful venue. We've put a lot of time and energy and investment into upgrading the course, upgrading all of the facilities. So it's a chance for us to show it off to uh, to everyone and have a chance for them to see kind of what what the club is all about. And I recognize that view behind you. It's William Square, so an Irving-based company. We're proud to have you here. Absolutely. Love being here. 
Jim Barra from Invited. Thanks for the preview. And again, I'll be covering it, so I'll see you there. Awesome, Thomas. Can't wait to see you. As we mentioned, the Invited Celebrity Classic is April 21st through 23rd at the Las Colinas Country Club. Learn more at invitedcelebrityclassic.com. Here's information on a program that can help eligible first-time home buyers in a big way. As much as $50,000 is available through the city's Down Payment Assistance Program. The goals of the program are to make the dream of home ownership a reality and to make sure homeowners can be self-sufficient so they can continue to afford their homes. More information and an orientation video are available at cityofirving.org slash downpayment. The next Irving City Council meeting is on Thursday, February 23rd at 7 p.m. A reminder that you can watch City Council meetings and the preceding work sessions live on ICTN Meetings. That's Channel 95 on Spectrum and Channel 31 on Frontier. The meetings are also streamed at ICTN.tv. The website cityofirving.org will be getting a significant makeover, the first one in about nine years. The goal is to give users a better experience. The team working on the project is seeking input to find out what residents would most like to see. You can participate by taking a survey. It's available now at cityofirving.org slash website. Responses will be accepted through March 5th. A lot of us here at ICT had had a rewarding morning as we got to share some of our workday and knowledge with participants in the City of Irving's Adult Therapeutic Day program. It's an adult day program for special needs individuals. We take weekly field trips, cooking class, gardening. We have game room activities. The list is so long. We just try to cater to that community and give them the ability to be able to be included and to do things with their friends. They got to tour our building and see a lot of what happens behind the scenes here at ICT, including inside our control rooms. They're in the voiceover booth and the studio. They especially had a lot of fun with what we know as the chroma key wall. Our Kathy Whiteman led the tour with a little assist from me. So I read all the words that come up on this teleprompter. We answered their questions and saw a lot of smiles as the tour goers learned what is involved with putting a television program together. They're having fun, they're getting to be on TV. We're so happy that you had us out. I love Irving Irving. <laughs> Yeah. As we hope everyone does. And there was another big part of this program. In partnership with Keep Irving Beautiful, participants made Valentines. This is part of a community-wide initiative. KIB delivered those cards to three local nursing homes in advance of Valentine's Day. With the help from all of our community, from the mayor to the schools to the rec centers to uh, the faith group organizations, they have all pitched in and made cards. And we're going to help bring some smiles to some residents at the nursing home this season. People across the city made more than 700 cards in all. Keep Irving Beautiful also led the effort to get cards made for nursing home residents over the Christmas holiday season. We will preview the Irving Marathon next time on City Source. Plus, we'll show you a new program that is helping police build bonds with the community over tacos. Those stories and more next time on City Source. Remember, you can always email us your thoughts on our stories. The address is ictn at cityofirving.org. Also, find us on YouTube. Our channel is at youtube.com slash the city of Irving. And please do us a favor, hit subscribe, turn on notifications. And while you're there, keep in mind that we always appreciate the likes and positive comments. And look for updates on events and initiatives across the major social media platforms at the City of Irving. And that's it for this edition of City Source. Thanks for watching, stay safe, and we'll see you next time.